Welcome back to the Realm of Unpopular Opinions. Today I am doing once more, because I feel like I've done this every year, a Halloween vlog. This vlog will be a little bit different because in the beginning I have an unboxing for you and I'm going <laughs> to preface this by saying and explaining that, as you know, this year I bought the, I don't know if I'm going to put the picture or not, the Little Black Classics and the Modern Little Classics box sets. I just finished them the other day. And immediately, because I found out that there are like 40 more Little Black Classics, I ordered ordered some more, essentially. I ordered 10 more. I went through the selection and I chose ones that interested me. And then obviously not all of them were available. So I have a selection of 10 Little Black Classics that weren't in the box that I just personally ordered that arrived. And I would like to unbox them because I never really do unboxings, <laughs> do I? But I thought it would be kind of fun. And I'm not necessarily obviously going to like all of them, but I do still f sort of fancy the idea that I could fill the box set in with books that I prefer rather than some crap <laughs> that was included in it. So let's get to the unboxing and then I will tell you what we will be reading, watching and doing this fine Halloween. <laughs> Let us commence <laughs> with the box from Amazon. I'm trying to see where the address site is. This is not where the address site is, so let us go. I did already rip the thing off, so. Okay, the first set that we can see, we have the suffragettes. Now, some of these are thin. I thought that because I have the Book of Tea that all the rest of the 40 classics that weren't in the box set would be thick like the book of tea and white knights by dostoevsky this is thin this could have easily fit inside the box set but i think the problem is that they did these later they like decided to print more after the box set was out but i would have preferred to have this than half of the stuff that we had in the box set but that's the first book the next book i think the next few are actually thick is and again, keep in mind that all of these I chose because I was interested in, in them, but there are a few that I was interested in that I couldn't find on Amazon. The next one is Matilda by Mary Shelley. This is one of the thicker ones. I have not been able to get through Frankenstein, so I thought maybe I stood a chance with this. <laughs> the next one, and I didn't get all 10 because there's another package for some reason that they put one of the books in, so today you're going to see nine books okay this one's a little dusty <laughs> we've got rousseau also one of the thicker ones i'm very very interested in this one because since i really liked the communist manifesto i think this is going to be really fun to read or if not fun at least interesting <laughs> the next one is mark twain the stolen white elephant i think this is three stories i haven't read twain yet either even though i have huckleberry finn and tom sawyer so this is like a bit of a a bit of an appetizer that's why i like these because they're appetizers for authors that i might not otherwise have gotten to yet or ever have gotten to realistically the next one which i bought this one just because i wanted to see if i could struggle with it but I don't know why several of them that are dusty, even though they're supposed to be new and not used copies. Anyway, <laughs> Shakespeare, <laughs> is this a dagger which I see before me? This one I bought because I liked Shakespeare in high school, but I read him in translation, obviously. I think this is just excerpts from all his works because that English, very difficult to read if you're not a native English speaker. It might even be difficult if you are a native English speaker and you're just not into that kind of English, but I tried reading Hamlet in English and I struggled. I struggled even though I read it in high school. I bought this and I thought like, okay, let's get through it and try and work through the English a little bit. Okay, these are all together. I'm gonna try and pull them all out, hang on. Without getting any of them stuck. Okay, we're done with the package. Okay, the next one is Chekhov, more short stories, a nervous breakdown. Ironically, they repeated a lot, a lot of authors that we already got in the box set, but I'm not gonna complain about Chekhov because he's great and you get three short stories in here. And the next one is one that I don't have a lot of 
hope for, but I was never ever going to try her out as an author. So I thought this was the perfect way to like get her out of the way and to see if I would in any universe like her writing. And that is Virginia Woolf with Flush, which is biography. Oh my God, it's a biography. Anyway, <laughs> it's a biography, but yeah, I didn't have a lot of hope to like, you know, read and love Virginia Woolf. This was just to see her writing style. Next one that I can't say I'm excited about because I tried it out on ebook, but I wanted to read it in its entirety, and that is Letters to a Young Poet by Rilke. And I am not really sure I'm going to like that because, I, I, again, I started it on ebook. I didn't like it. I didn't like the first two letters or whatever. I also thought this would be one of the thick ones, but it's one of the thin ones. So at least we've got that now. And the last one that I am a little bit annoyed wasn't in the box set is Anecdotes of the Cynics. Now, since I like, not like, not like, just identify with Stoic philosophy, like I'm currently reading Seneca, I love Marcus Aurelius. Cynics are like the opposite school. <laughs> Seneca actually in quite a few letters like references the Cynics as like the school opposite to Stoicism. So this is definitely going to be very interesting to me. 800 years of cynic philosophers of ancient Greece and Rome is going to be very interesting to read. So those are the little nine books that I've got. This one's on the wrong side. The nine little books that I've got. The one that's missing is Yeats, which is poetry, but it's good. It's a good thing that that one didn't arrive with the others because I'm not in the mood for poetry right now. But that's the 10th Yeats poetry. I also have the Book of Tea. So like those are all of the books that I currently own outside of the box set and I will will be talking about all of these in like the comprehensive review but the thing that I actually wanted to mention was that I wanted to get Charlotte Bronte because the last book on the list is Charlotte Bronte but I couldn't find her I could not find her there were like a few books that I couldn't find on Amazon because all of these were like three or four euros like what their actual price is I think only one was six and I think that was anecdotes of the cynics but everything else was like collectibles like they just don't print them anymore it was like 70 90 euros and no one's buying that so if you think there's one that i was interested in but you don't see it here it's probably that's probably why so let's actually get into the halloween portion of the video i just wanted to show these off let's get into the actual halloween side of things now Today I had this idea <laughs> that I was going to read all of these books. It's a little bit unrealistic. I am not going to lie to you. But I will read some of them, that's for sure. <laughs> There's one that's a priority. So let's just go through the list and then I will tell you. I won't tell you what I will be watching because it's very realistic that I will end up watching nothing because my day can get derailed. I can go out and do something else. I can just read one book and not read another Book. And I also don't know if I will be putting on any kind of costume specifically because painting my face is a hassle just to take a picture. <laughs> I did do it before. There are masks. I might just put on the cloak again and put on a mask or something. I don't know. We will see because I don't know. Costumes are a hassle because where I live, it's not like you go trick or treating. So it's genuinely if you don't go to like a club. It's a hassle to do the costumes. So let's just go through the books and I'll stop yapping. You're probably sick of seeing this. <laughs> You're probably sick of seeing this, but it's such a pretty book. It literally looks like a grimoire. Now, do I want to read more of this? Yes. Yes, honestly, because you can read Poe any time of year. You can read any book any time of year. Like, it's not like it's Halloween specific. But I want to read another, either another poem or another short story. We will see, but I cannot spend Halloween without my beloved. <laughs> the next few things are things that can be read definitely very quickly. And that is one singular volume, I think, or if it's several volumes, I'm not sure, of Dump here. Because I wanted a vampire story. I wanted a vampire story. This is called Transylvania Express. I just wanted a vampire story, so we will see if I will read that one. And there's this specific edition, this specific edition of Dylan Dog, because I am actually the one who went out to buy it from this guy who was selling it, because it's witches. Like, I mean, come on. <laughs> Just the cover looks very witchy. I liked this 
this volume of it. Obviously, these are series with like a billion volumes. And I don't really like those. I don't really even like these specific characters, but it's vampires and it's witches. It's one of those things that I really wanted to incorporate <laughs> in today. The next thing, and this is the thing that I'm not sure about. I want to continue Gormenghast because I stopped reading it in order to get to several other books. And I finished two, which is great. But the third, I don't feel like finishing. And I think I'm just going to take it with me to university and like read it on the commute because I don't really care for it. And I don't need to focus that much for it. But I want to keep reading Gormenghast. <laughs> I'm going to keep reading this throughout November and December. It depends on how long it'll take me to finish it. But I'm up to the second book actually called Gormenghast. And it's so gothically perfect with its descriptions that maybe I'll just read like a chapter or two today. But I feel like if I actually do get started on this, I'm going to read nothing else. You know, I feel like if I dive into the second book i'm gonna want to read nothing else and that's not good that's not good because i want to read you're going to see exactly exactly what i am aiming to read i also got this thriller from the library i forgot what the english english title is i don't usually read translations but there was no original and i wasn't gonna buy it because thrillers can very easily be bad yeah it's called no exit <laughs> it's called no exit so Maybe, maybe, but this is the goal for today. I already said this would be the goal for today. I think like at the beginning of the month in one of my vlogs or whatever. It's this. It's this. It's Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. Like this is, again, I repeat, my favorite Poirot episode in terms of it being seasonal. Like I love this episode. Just the color alone looks so perfect for today i want to read it like it's not long it's what 200 pages i think yeah 260 okay so it's closer to 300 but i can easily do this if i actually read nothing else so i'm hoping to read this like this is the one book that i wanted to read today it's the one book that though i can read it at any time is perfect for today i can also really read it quickly because again i know the story i've seen that episode like a billion times so it's not like i'm waiting for the mystery so this is the priority. Everything else I hope to read, I do hope to read, but this is the priority. <laughs> That's it as far as books go. Now we will see. We will see what I end up doing. Again, I'm not promising on the costume, but I might just put on the cloak and mask. I don't know. It really depends. But in any case, we're going to light up a lot of candles. We're going to Definitely turn on the jack-o'-lanterns because this is the last day that I can use them and we're gonna put on a different outfit. I just stayed on in this thing because it's pretty warm, but it's not that it's not that Halloween -y, is it? I even have the mug with the black tea and everything. I have little skull hair clips. I just wanted to show these off because I think they're pretty cool. And I might even put on some makeup later. We'll see. We'll see. It's a very weird day. I did want this to actually just be a chill vlog because I feel like for the last two years I went all out with the with the makeup, with the themed reading, and then I ended up reading nonsense. It's sort of like the last video where I determined that sometimes when I have specific reading that I want to do, it ends up just being stuff that I did not want to read and wasn't in the mood for. So today we're going to try and not do that. I'm also definitely going to watch something. If it's going to be a series, just a random episode, or a film, we're going to see. Also, this is just one random thing, but for three days, I've been watching The Halloween Tree by Ray Bradbury because I read that book earlier in October. This isn't as good as the book, by the way. It isn't even accurate to the book that much except like in concept but I, I preferred the book vastly to this but i've been watching this for like three days because i've been putting it on before bed and just kept falling asleep which to be fair i appreciate things that can put me to sleep because i like that but at the same time it's not a compliment to the plot is it that it can put me to sleep <laughs> in any case i've been watching this so maybe i'll finish it today it feels very appropriate to finish it on halloween but i want to watch at least some kind of Adam's Family. Like, it's been a while. Like, I watched the Adam's Family series, that's my favorite Adam's Family, last year in January, I think it was. And I already miss it. I deeply, deeply miss it already. So I will watch some kind of Adam's Family and, I don't know, maybe finish the Halloween treat. We will see. But in any case, let's just get into it. <laughs>
We are here to make an update, a bit of an embarrassing update, but an update nonetheless. Yesterday, I made cookies with my mother, which I think I'm going to include in the thumbnail. We made cookies that took like two hours, and then I was exhausted. Like, I actually got up earlier for me and started reading and collected the books and everything. And I was still too tired. I was still too tired. Around 10, which for reference is like 7 p.m. for me, around 10, I was exhausted and I started watching all the Halloween stuff. I watched half of Adam's Family and I watched Crimson Peak, but that was it. That was literally it. Let's talk about all the books that I didn't read. <laughs> I mean, I read them, but I didn't finish them. So this isn't satisfying in that kind of way. But the primary goal for this vlog was obviously this book. Did I finish it? No. I read I read about halfway. I had I read half of it. <laughs> that was it. I read half of it. I was actually having quite a good time with it because as far as I've told you already, I've watched this episode a billion times. I know who the, who's the murderer. I know the entire story essentially. But Agatha's writing style is something that's very different to her adaptations because obviously reading a mystery and watching a mystery is very, very different. And I quite like it. Like I am, I was hooked and kept entertained thoroughly, even though I know the entire story. Hello. Even though I, even though I know the entire story, I'm distracted. Even though I know the entire story, I was really entertained. Did, I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. I felt that like my eyes were closing as I was reading it, not because of the book, just because I was generally tired. Also, like since I live in a place where there's no gradual changing of seasons, it's either summer or winter. I am very happy it's currently going to be winter, but the shift is very gradual. So I not gradual, very extreme, which is why I think I just had a headache and was very tired yesterday. But I read half of this. I still plan to finish it probably today, but it is no longer October. <laughs> then I read this. <laughs> I unboxed it in the last the last in the last few clips, but I read some of that, like I don't know, like 20 pages of that. That had nothing to do with Halloween. I read a little bit of this, as you saw in the vlog, and I read two Edgar Allan Poe poems. I'm going to tell you which ones. I didn't read the first story because I was far, far too tired to pay attention to a whole story. I read, I think, my favorite poems for this time of year in general. It was Spirits of the Dead. I think the Valley of Unrest. Haunted Palace, I loved that. Deep in Earth. And I think there might have been another one, but Spirits of the Dead in general, I think one of my favorite poems of all time. I love Poe, and I had to like sneak at least a little bit of him into the video somehow. I'm sorry, it's a little dusty, and it's one of the prettiest books I own. But yeah, that's it for the video. It was a bit of an embarrassment, I will say. The vibes, I think, were there when I was reading, when I was putting on like the ambient rooms and the music. And I did watch Crimson Peak and Adam's Family, which are, I mean, great. <laughs> Crimson Peak is like a little gothic and I love Tom Hiddleston, obviously, and Mia Wasikowska is also pretty great. So like the vibes are there, the plot itself is so-so, but I liked that, although it was very long. I was done at like two, and then I felt like doing nothing else. I think I read a little bit of Agatha Christie, and then I started watching Adam's Family and watched half of that before I fell asleep. <laughs> My cat keeps going back to the bathroom for some reason to just dig. She's not even doing anything. She's just digging. She's eyeing it again. She's literally just digging. She adores digging through the litter. And now she's playing with bits of candle wax. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, the ending of this was a bit chaotic. I didn't even put on a costume this year. But I do hope you were at least somewhat entertained that you read something for Halloween and that you enjoyed Halloween because despite being tired, I loved it. Like, I watched some very thematic stuff. I read the books. I listened to the music. 
I did a costume on Instagram, to be fair, not here, because it was a lazy one. I baked cookies. Like, it was good. It was a good Halloween. It just wasn't a filmable Halloween as much as I wanted it to be because, and I don't know what it is, but as soon as I actually sit down, this is like a bit of a tangent and then the video's done. As soon as I actually set myself things to read and know that I have to read them, I refuse to do it apparently. I'm either tired or I go somewhere or I go shopping or all of a sudden I want to sleep before I ever go to sleep. I don't know what it was. I do not know what it was about it because I used to do thematic vlogs like reading Winter Night, reading Attack on Titan, reading Shadow and Bone. But I think that's different because like that's a book that I already know I love and that I want to do a deep dive into. But when when I say, for example, like, oh, let's read Christmas books for a day because I did that <laughs> one year as well. All of a sudden, I don't feel like reading them. It feels like assigned reading. And I had enough of that in high school. So this was just a bit of a tangent. But I wonder if you're someone who does videos. How do you how do you stomach a set reading list? Because I feel like as soon as you have to read something, it's no longer fun. But yeah, I don't know what to do about that, frankly. But both of the last two vlogs were actually a whole lot more fun for me because I was reading stuff that I wanted to read. So in any case, my head hurts a little bit. So <laughs> happy Halloween, even though it's no longer Halloween. And I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you read for Halloween, if you read anything at all. So I will see you in the next video.